what's going on guys so I know it's been a while since I made a video but I actually had a video from beginning to end ready to upload to YouTube on this whole timing issue uh, I was frantically getting the car back together before going to the track and I'll include the clips from from that day as well but uh, basically what had happened was I made this video and um, 20 minutes before uploading it, the full issue came back. So instead of uploading a video with incorrect information, I instead decided to wait and actually figure out this issue and have it resolved once and for all instead of making videos where I'm wrong <laughs> and then having to redo it. So basically, instead of, uh, instead of watching a bunch of clips of me figuring out how much dielectric grease to use, we're going to cut right to the chase, and I'm going to include the clips from the day of the track, but I'm also going to explain what has been happening with this car. So I went through two phases. Uh, basically, I was, I was really hung up on the idea of the spark gapping from... Uh, boot into the body of the plug, which it definitely was doing. It definitely was arcing. We confirmed that. But um, what was really happening was I wasn't torquing the spark plugs uh, hard enough. So basically, I was using a 3 8 ratchet, which is not a very big ratchet. I would torque it to the start of the crush washer, and I thought that was, you know, half a turn pass then, right? Go to tight, half a turn pass. Well, in reality, I was only halfway through the crush washer. So I think it was probably because I read somewhere, you know, don't over torque an aluminum head, you're going to strip it, it's going to be a nightmare. So I just went way too soft, and I was using the wrong tool. And so anyways, I confirmed that by, I switched to a torque wrench, and I actually torqued each uh, spark plug to its correct gap, and then they were all about half or even more, three quarters of a turn uh, loose. So I torqued them all down, and the car is, as far as I can tell, completely fine now. It is still pulling timing after a long drive, so about an, one, about an hour of driving, uh, if you floor it after that, it'll still be quite rich, but the actual breaking up uh, feeling and sound, like the actual drivability stuff, is it's all gone. So I haven't had a VDC light come back on, no speed sensor codes, so I actually have a feeling that that was causing the issue, and it does kind of fit in line with everything else, so... If the plug isn't torqued in, then it can't uh, discharge the energy. All the heat from the tip has to go into the block. Um, so if, it, if it's not torqued down, it, it slowly builds up energy. So I was right. The plugs uh, were getting hot, but I was wrong in the sense of, like, the, the reason why. So I, I thought that the... You know, the ignition coil packs were creating too much energy. And after, you know, learning more about this, that's not the case. If you have a if you have a bigger coil pack, if you have a more powerful coil pack, then it should be able to, to power a bigger gap. You shouldn't have to go down and gap. All the people online that are saying you have to go down for the R8 coil packs, these people are on forced induction uh, setups. Realistically, the gap, the stock gap, and the stock heat range is the correct... Uh, plug so I switched back to a copper um, uh, 5 uh, heat range and the 40, uh, 0 045 gap and I slapped them back in there cleaned them up and I torqued them down and the car runs perfect it's quiet there still is some issue I can still feel it a little bit but it doesn't have this like it doesn't go into this weird timing mode where it pulls all the timing and it's really loud and you know that that issue is gone, and I'm I'm 99% sure that it was caused by loose spark plugs. Uh, I actually read a few forums, so there's a I think a BMW inline six from the 90s. I'm not sure if it's an M3 or one of their forums mentioned loose spark plugs and being very very finicky. You know, even to the point where a correct torque spec, I think it was 17 pounds would cause issues. Now, some, most of these were forced induction. Most of these are not stock engines, which is why this was so weird. Um, but some cars, for whatever reason, are just finicky about uh, spark plug torque. So check your, check your, uh, for our cars, it's a, uh, I believe 17 to 23 is our torque, torque spec. So anyways, I just wanted to make a video on that and kind of 
give an explanation why I haven't been making videos. The reason is because I just wasn't sure uh, on this issue and I, I had to confirm it. So it's been about a month of uh, no issues. So I'm, I'm pretty confident saying that we got that wrapped up. Uh, unfortunately, I did not go to the track with this issue fixed. Uh, the videos that I am likely not going to include are me going over how much dielectric grease we went from too little, you know, put a very thin finger amount to uh, basically filling it, which was a, a, a trick that I learned from the Lotus guys. That made no difference. It, it made a little bit of a difference, but in reality, the plugs would just overheat after 20 minutes. So, um, I will include those clips. The uh, I'm not going to spoil. I, I, I can't say that the car ran faster or slower because we actually did not get an official time. I won't give away the uh, the end on that. You have to stay tuned and watch to the end for that part. But um, yeah, the car ran well, even despite having the loose spark plugs. Um, it definitely wasn't as fast as its personal best, uh, which is the 1428. But we're gonna, we might have a few more opportunities, so uh, I yeah, guess stay tuned for that. The next avenue will likely be tires, so we're gonna put a uh, proper drag radial on this thing, and that should definitely help because it had a lot of lot of issues at the track. We had issues shifting, we had issues with traction. Uh, I did manage to go down once, uh, kind of okay, again, I'm not gonna spoil it, but once I got home and I figured out the spark plug issue, I was just so relieved. I just haven't even paid uh, a thought to this car, to be honest. I've uh, kind of neglected, as you can tell, it's kind of dirty, but I've just been driving this thing as my daily and enjoying not having that issue. But now that uh, now that it's actually resolved, I think it's time to go back and uh, try and get that 13. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we're going to get get these uh, racing clips in there so yeah take a look at those and yeah thanks for watching okay so we just made it out to mission got our friend with his uh, c5 Corvette he's never been drag racing before so he's gonna come out and get a time slip he actually came out last time when we got rained out but anyways the queue is running okay it's a little bit of a mixed bag um, I don't know how much of the last video I included in this but um, the grease, I've gone back and forth. So at first it was, you know, don't use too much. And then it was, you know, uh, it wasn't enough. So put in more. And um, now we've backed off a little bit because it was actually having a really bad timing issue. Uh, so we're, we're in the middle ground. Basically, you want, a, you want a fair bit of dielectric grease, but you don't want it to build up in the, uh, the actual igniter part of the spark plug because these spark plugs, or sorry, these coil packs do not have a spring in them. So the actual metal to metal contact isn't as tight as I thought it would be so any build up grease is going to add resistance so I cleaned them all out right before we went out and I added a little bit more around the edges um, that probably is a bit too much but it does feel a lot better when it's running it feels really strong um, after about 40 minutes on the highway this is about an hour and a half drive for us so we're halfway through it definitely was having some uh, harder shifts it is a little bit high on transmission fluid I just checked even though this is not perfectly level, so it might be uh, a little bit closer to what I what I what I prefer. But anyways, until we get to a level ground, which I'm probably not going to check until I get home, uh, it should be fine. We're going to let it cool off, get in, get it uh, tacked in, and then let it cool off fully. Like wait another hour, and then we'll uh, then we'll go make a hit. I'm pretty excited, guys. I'm pretty nervous. Not going to lie, we've made a lot of changes, so. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so we're all lined up here. Car's running pretty good. Um, got past through tech, no problem. They actually put me into the Sport Compact class, which normally I would be excited for because there's more cars, but um, I'm actually wiped off little SE. We're gonna jump into Dom class because Brody's friend is here and he is driving this old GTO, which honestly is probably gonna be a really good match. I think it's a high 13 car. And we Okay, so we are in the lanes, and um, this car right here, this GTO, is our friend of a friend, my, my new buddy, <laughs> and uh, we're going to try and do a grudge race here. I don't know how that's going to work. I've got one car ahead, so we'll see. Okay, we got our gap cam. <laughs> 
So this is technically a grudge race. <laughs> Q45 is doing some grudge racing. <laughs> I think they're gonna let us do it. Yeah. Don't tell them to get out of the way. <laughs> I know. Is there any way to do a grudge race with him? We should. Any way to do a grudge race? I appreciate it. That was okay. Copy that. I'm done now. Here we go. I gotta roll my windows, my mirrors down. Tuck them in a bit. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I'm nervous. I am nervous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll my window down a bit just so we can hear. They can't tell with my little covers. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I gotta get ready here. Oh, he's tripping me out there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and trio here. I gotta remember to shift now. He double vault me. Balance limiter so hard. Are you going? Are you going? <laughs> oh man, the manual valve body got me, dude. I didn't even really build. It felt like I uh, I broke through the brakes a little bit there. Ah oh, man. I gotta do that again. <laughs> that felt good though, it felt strong. I didn't even look at air fuel or anything. Um, oh well. Felt so strong once it got into gear. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be curious to see what the 60 foot is. That, that should give us an indicator of uh, if, we're, if we're going good or not. Cause yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a high 14. I didn't even I could have really looked at the board. Dang, <laughs> that was fun. Let's kill this. Oops, highlight added wrong. We want to turn you off. Thank. You. I'm the wrong class. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm 500 SC on there. Yeah. Okay, thanks. 15.3. Oh man. Thirteen seven five. I'm such an idiot. Oh, idiot, dude. I got shift super early on the one two. Um, damn. <laughs> two one nine sixty foot. Two six two three thirty. Nine eight to the eighth. Yeah, sixty six mile an hour total throwaway. Dang. Ninety two miles an hour. It, it's picking, it's it's steaming on the big end. <laughs> well, that sucked. Okay, just gonna record a little thing here. So yeah, last uh, race, it definitely, um, I shift, I thought I shifted early into second and it definitely bounced limiter. And then I shifted really early into third and it didn't even shift into third. So um, I think that that was uh, a big mistake on my part. I don't think it was the transmission. So we're gonna do we're gonna go again in manual mode, and if it if it hits limiter at all, we're gonna put it into four next time. 
but the car feels really good when it's in gear. I didn't look at air fuel at all. I'm not really too worried about that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get another couple hits in. We're gonna do a, another grudge race with the GTO. He ran a 17.3, and uh, if I can get even close to that, that'd be amazing. And I think it'll be a really good race, neck and neck. But anyways, here we go. <laughs> What's up? I think if we go in the outside lane, right behind each other, Okay. You'll just go like this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll work. go behind you. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Camaro, back here, so I'm going against David Nichols in a 2014 Ram. Because, yeah, this, if I can get this thing to shift, it'll be a really even race, and that's that would be awesome, because we got the GoPro facing backwards, so we could get some really cool angles here. All right. This thing is beautiful. What a nice-looking car. He's got the right idea though, he's got the tires. That was the other thing I did, I didn't, um, I didn't, um, I like, I built up the power on the line, but then for some reason I just rolled out, like I, I, I went really soft on the, on the launch, I don't know why. It had a decent burnout and everything, I just, I don't know, like nerves or something, I don't know, it's been a while since I raced, but, uh, this time we're gonna, um, I told him basically he can stage whenever he wants, but I'm gonna roll in really slow and uh, I'll try and build up a bit of power on the light there. But yeah, we'll see, <laughs> it should be fun. Okay, here we go. Up in the lanes, got our mirrors turned down. Okay, gotta get this thing into gear. I'm gonna shift at like 5,500, honestly. Okay, now I'm going to stage this properly. <laughs> Bury the... <laughs> They're talking about the queue? <laughs> I had to pedal it, it was not gonna hook. We tried to build it up too much. <laughs> yeah. That was fun, man, hell yeah. It's not gonna be a good time, I can already tell. Car felt good though. <laughs> well, at least it went into gear. <laughs> Cool down on the way back. Yeah, it felt really good. Stays in the gear. Yeah, we knew traction was gonna be an issue. I should have done more of a burnout. I, I saw smoke and I was like, ah, we're good. I think what I should do is bring the uh, water a little further out. Like I was right into the puddle and uh, I kind of dragged it out. Like I did the burnout, I kind of dragged the burnout a bit, but um, it might have been a little bit of water on there still, I'm not sure. I'll go again, I'll try it again. I think uh, I think we're to the point where we need some tires on this thing. I think the, the old BF Goodriches aren't gonna handle it. All right, go, <laughs> thanks buddy. so much. No Third, no way, no, that's him. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like 13.3, holy shit. He did really good, 13.3 at 104. I did a 15 flat. 2460, yeah, there you go. 96 miles an hour. So I was pretty right in my estimation. Like, I think if I can actually hook this thing, um, 
it will uh, it'll do like 97, 98 miles an hour. But not when it's uh, spinning like that. Oh well, it's still fun. Kind of confirm what we thought. Okay, so this is the end of Sport Compact, and we are up next. And the guy that I raised, I forgot his name, he's a really nice guy, but um. We're gonna race again, and uh, so he's gonna pull his car up here because we just kinda wanna get going after. So we're gonna try and be first, or close to it, and then, um, yeah, we should get one more hit. I'm gonna, we spun pretty bad last time, so I'm not gonna build up too much on the brake this time, but we are going to do a bigger burnout and really let it sit. But uh, yeah, it ran really strong. Uh, it had the same mile an hour, so it's definitely doing something. But anyways, we got some good temp too. The uh, the air is really nice. Lost about 250 meters of density altitude, and the car is nice and cold, so it should rip pretty good. <sighs> Just gotta get this thing to hook and to shift, and it should run a 13. <laughs> oh, man. All this work, and we can't even get back into the 14s. Holy. Okay, so we're back in the lanes. This is the last hit. The focus of this race will be uh, lightly launching. We're not going to build it up. I don't think it will. I don't think it'll take it on the three seven gears. So we're going to max out the burnout. But uh, yeah, we're going to just kind of hang back. Still going to try and race the GTO again. He ran a 13.3 last time, so he's ripping. We're never gonna catch him, but. <laughs> but yeah, we just I just pulled in behind. Her, basically, we're not holding up lanes. That's probably that's the right that's the smart move. I am not gonna lie, I am nervous right now. Gotta get this thing to work. Okay, we got our gap cam, which isn't gonna catch shit because we're gonna get smoked. <laughs> and I don't care as long as I can hook. And as long as it shifts, I do not care. Okay, no rushing the burnout. Do not listen to the guy. Do on your own time. Honestly, I would let him go and just build it up, but I don't think it'll take it. We're not gonna build it at all. I'm gonna basically roll out of this. Because last time I rolled out of it, it still ran a 260 foot. So I think we're good. There we go. Hell yeah. So this time, last time I sat in the burnout box, I'm gonna roll out of it. It might wheel a hop a bit more, but it's going to, uh, it's gonna pick up less water. I'm just gonna roll it out. <sighs> Skeeter in my face. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see the time slip and hook good. I didn't launch it that hard, but it definitely uh, did not slip. And um, I was neck and neck with him, so. Oh, I'm 
nervous. <laughs> let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I was kind of worried because it wouldn't, it didn't do a burnout. It did a li little tiny burn. And then I saw, you know why? Because I didn't have traction control off. <laughs> such an idiot oh this is like such a just issue after issue after issue man <laughs> still did good still did great well, let's go get some gas and go home <coughs> mosquito like flew into my eyeball as I was launching everything that could go wrong went wrong we got one hit we got one hit Let's go! It felt good. I know it was gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be a 13, but it was. It fell past. He obviously walked away from us, but um. Oh, I'm nervous. 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 What? What? Oh, it got. Dude, I got like the wrong time. I got like the wrong time. This is 11.3. What the hell? <laughs> what? Dude, I got the wrong, I got the wrong, oh, sorry. I got the wrong time slip. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? I got, I ran an 11.3. <laughs> Fastest 2.45 in the world, let's go. <laughs> Doesn't have a mile per hour, dude. Uh, this this race day was cursed, man. Cursed. What? Eleven three. <laughs> what happened? I got an eleven three. <laughs> I know! But he ran like a 13 something and you were did right you beside him. him. Did you beat him? No, it says no mile an hour. I don't understand that, dude. So, if we go by 8th, I was right there. Dude, is this my 13 and I missed? It? Dude, you were at the 13s. You <laughs> yeah, had you to killed what did he run? He ran a 13 7 7 at 9. At, see, the mile an hour is off. Oh, maybe he let off. Maybe he was a bit slower. Actually, he might have been a bit slower. Was like, it was right other person's score. I know he's in the thirteen. Yeah. Was the I was so off. excited. I was coming back like conking. I was like, "Yo, let's go!" That was so sick. Dude. You know what's funny? VDC was on. That's why they didn't do the burnout. I was like fucking bucking. I was like, "It won't spin." I didn't have VDC. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh man. Oh. Fucking. 11-3, fastest Q45 in the world. <laughs> Dude, that was fucking brutal. I'm just gonna say it's a 13 one. <laughs> no, it's I would say it's probably a 13-9-5. Or maybe a 14 flat. We'll have to look at the the video. Because we know how fast he was. That was a good run, man. How far how many car lengths did you have on you? Like two. Barely two, one and a half. I know. Fuck! Yeah, let's fuck it. Let's go home. I gotta get gas. Oh, that was fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the Bunda channel. Bye! Yeah.